Good morning. We're here for more multiplication. Actually, since we've already done already done a complete chapter on multiplication, this is our second chapter on multiplication. There's a lot of review going on, but that's okay. So this is chapter 21. What we're doing today is key standards review, pages 423 and 424. Now you might have page 421 and 22. If you want to do those, great. But if you don't have them, don't worry about it. Okay, April 28th, Tuesday in the year 2020. So press the button one more time, please. Sure. Okay, so chapter 21, key standard review, pages 423 and 424. So basically what we have here is just a review of multiplication. We're finding the product. And um, one of the things you might want to do just to see how quickly you can fill these in. Because we know when you start third grade next year, they're going to be doing those time tests starting right off the bat, right in September, I believe. Well, we'll see, but they do start right away. And we want you to be ready. We don't want you to be stressed out. So just try your best to get these pretty quickly. So let's see. I'm going to go this way. 2 times 3 is 6. 5 times 6 is 30. 10 times 7. That's an easy one because we know 7 times 1 is 10. 5 times 7 is 35. 10 times 4 is 40. 2 times 9 is 18. 10 times 5 is 50. 2 times 7 is 14. 5 times 8 is 40, 2 times 8 is 16, 5 times 9 is 45, and 10 times 10 is 100. We know that's that. some of those problems on the 100th day, right? Yeah, exactly. So that's pretty cool. Okay, don't forget, too, that oftentimes in multiplication, we're talking about equal groups. That's very important because that's going to come up when we do the next chapter. Equal groups and division are very important. Here we go. Robbie works in a pet store. He counts three cats in each equal group. There are five equal groups. How many cats are there in all? So I'm going to do my math problem right here. I know there's five equal groups and there's three cats in each group. So I'm going to say five times three and I'm gonna skip count by threes five times. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. So my answer is 15 cats. Now some of the cats are sold. Now there are four cats in each group. There are three equal groups. So now I'm gonna say three equal groups times four. Hmm, this is a little bit different. So three times four equals 12, but I have to look at what they're asking me. They're asking me how many cats were sold. So basically now there is this many before there was 15. So that's a two part question. So I'm gonna have to go 15 take away 12. And the cats that were sold are three. Now you could have done that a lot of different ways, but I did it by comparing this problem and my new problem, how many cats are there now? So three cats. What? Compare and contrast. Oh yeah, compare and contrast. You can do it different ways and that's okay. Okay, um, one of the things I wanted to let you know in addition to this nice picture from last week. These are videos about multiplication, but they're not just times table videos. So if you wanted another way to look at multiplication, that's the top two. The bottom one is pretty much count by two. So we call this multiplication strategies. So it kind of just reviews what we've talked about for a while. Okay, erase, erase, erase. You could go to the next slide. Okay, this one is word problems. 
And we want to remember when we do word problems, go slow, be logical, and write things down that could help you. So it starts with recycling. Oh, Earth, Earth Day. Day. Right. Here are some ways you can recycle things instead of throwing them away. And then it says, write a multiplication sentence to solve. Dora and Max each filled 10 empty soda bottles with colored sand. How many bottles do they fill in all? Well, first of all, I gotta think about what are my equal groups? Well, there's Dora and there's Max. Sounds like two. Sounds like two to me too. Yeah, there's two equal groups and in each group there are 10. So two times 10 is 20 bottles in all. Okay, I'm going to the next problem. Allie and Pete use an egg carton to collect rocks. Hey, we're gonna be doing some rock collecting soon. Coming up. I remember about that. They put four rocks in each section. How many rocks do they collect? So it sounds to me like the equal groups, I know a dozen is 12. Right. So there are 12 little carton egg spots. So that's gonna be my equal groups. And I'm gonna have four rocks in every single little cup there. So I'm gonna put four here. Now that's kind of a hard problem, but we can figure it out. I know that two twelves is 24. I'm doing it my easy way. Two and 20, 24 plus 24 48. is 48. So. But you could do that a lot of different ways. You could technically skip count by four. Skip counting by four might be a little tough right now. Or you could say, hey, I know that's really 10 plus two. So I could say four times 10 is 40. That's not hard. And four times two is eight. So 40 plus eight is 48, although that's sort of a it seems can common you show core. them on the board. Sure. The with that going down, how they would oh, multiply that. Oh, I would that. love to do that because that's going to come up in sure. third grade as well. So basically, we're going up and down, and what we do is this one is multiplied times that, and then this one right here is multiplied times that. So I'm going to go four times two is eight. Four times one is four. And my answer is 48. Now we know that's not really four times one because it's in the tens column. We know that four times 10 is 40 and it ends up right there. So that, that ends up pretty nice. I'm gonna leave that up there for a sec. I'm gonna remind you, cause I forgot before, that if you wanted to stop the video and answer these on your own, you can and then come back. Patrick makes wrapping paper from an old bag. He prints four rows. That Ooh, sounds like array. equal groups to me. Yes, that's an a beautiful array. array. We had a lot of nice arrays that got shared with us. There are five stars in each row or in each equal group. So how many stars are there in all? So it looks like my equal groups are four. And then how many in each group is five? So I'm gonna say four times five, and I'm gonna skip count by five. Five, 10, 15, 20. So there's my product is 20. And you said before that the, the number on 20, the zero, it's either gonna end in a zero or it's gonna end in a five. So Every gonna, single time. So if it's anything other than a zero or five, we know it's gonna be incorrect. That is absolutely right. That's a way to check. So that's a good, good thing to remember. Okay, six children make bird feeders from old juice boxes. Isn't that nice? They make five bird feeders each. How many feeders do they make in all? So it looks like my equal groups would be the number of children. So I'm gonna say six, and then each one of them makes five, six times five. Now I know, as Mrs. Bachelor was just saying, that's an even number. It's gonna end in a zero. That was an even number, ended in a zero. So this is gonna end in a zero. And then I'm gonna skip count again by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 
30. So my answer is 30. Okay, and I'm gonna erase, erase, erase. Should I go forward, forward, forward? Yes, please. Okay, so here we have number blocks and videos. These two actually review times tables. So I think um, one is count by six. I'm not sure what the other one is, but that's okay, it's times tables. So the second part of our assignment today, um, you are going to practice multiplication facts with flashcards or some other method like these videos down here. And here's an important part we're gonna talk about a little bit today. You will practice using IXL for 20 minutes. Wait, my emphasis is right here. You will do this. So I have a little aside that I wanna let you know about, just a little hint ski that I wanna get you in on. So we're gonna look at the next slide. Oh, this is super important. We want you to do this one. Now what's interesting is, we've been asking you to do different ones and you might think, oh, my teacher is far away, they're not gonna know. Well, that's what I have to talk to you about. I wanted to let you know that every single week, no matter what, without fail, we get an email from IXL. We don't even ask for it. It's not like ARP where we have to go in and ask for a report. This comes automatically. And it tells us how you're doing. And it tells us exactly what you're doing. And it tells us who's doing it and who's not doing it. Isn't that interesting information? I think it's very interesting information. <laughs> Isn't it? And it so, tells us on math and language arts. Language arts too, so everything. It actually tells us every day if they do it the day it's assigned. It does. And if you do second grade or you do some other grade. Okay, so but we're gonna look at this. It comes like this, sort of. Get it again? Yes, please. And then we get this. And we look at, if you're looking at this is progress, so this just happened to be my class, and look at, it's just going from March 10th to today, and it tells us the progress, and it tells us that some people are even doing work in the evening and on weekends. Wow. It tells what you're doing on the weekend. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. And it tells us what you're doing on weekdays, so that's kind of interesting. Okay, so I wanted to give you this little report to recognize some people who've been doing a great job with IXL. So in Mrs. Lopez's class, the top five scorers for, and this is just going by number of questions answered from the beginning of the school year until now. So that means not just in the last 30 days or the last week, but it means all together. So we have Karen, Timothy, Heidi, Jackson and Jaden. Those were the highest scores in Mrs. Lopez's class for all questions answered in IXL for the year. And then in Mrs. Bachelier's class, we have Kaden, Emma, John, Katie, and Grace. Now, just to let you know, most of these people answered about 3,000. I think there were a couple, I know John did over 4,000. It was 4,400, right, rounded. And so that was excellent. In Miss East class, Julie, Zoe, Desmond, Logan, and Sophia. And just to let you know, Julie's is over 4,000. I'm not so sure how Karen. much. So Karen. was Karen. Karen was over 4,000. Mm -hmm. um, the rest of these are all 3,000, and that was excellent, outstanding. I couldn't be happier. But I have to tell you. There was one person that actually answered over 12,000 wow. questions. That's a lot. That's just since September, which is, when I looked at that, I was like, is that a typo? Is that a mistake? So I was kind of blown away by that. So let's look at this. Next slide. Most questions answered, and it was so good that it made my little happy guy jump. I really like that. Should we do a drum roll? 
Oh, there's there's more before it comes up. Oh, sorry. Right. So, 12,216 questions answered this school year goes to Jeremiah. So, I you know what? I can picture this in my mind totally that his mom or his dad said, "Okay, Jeremiah, it's time to do Excel." Okay, no problem. And he just did it because that's just the and kind he did of the kid appropriate he is. grade. He did, and sometimes even a little bit of third grade. Wow, stuff. that's good. So a lot of language arts, but mostly math. So yeah, that's in my heart. I'm jumping for joy like that guy. So anyway, we did assign assign IXL for today, and so make sure you do that one. I do notice that there are some people that aren't doing any IXL every day so that's consistent but it's consistently the wrong thing so there's one more slide oh we're done that's it for math today friends enjoy your math day